the International Association of Lighthouse Authorities buoyage system is used in most parts of the world, including Australia and New Zealand. It is known as the Ayala System A. There are only five types of marks you need to learn for safe coastal navigation. All these marks can be buoys, piles or beacons. The first are lateral marks, which indicate the port and starboard sides of channels. The second are cardinal marks, which indicate the safe side to pass any danger, such as rocks or a bend in the channel. The third are special marks, which indicate a special area which will be mentioned on the chart. The fourth are isolated danger marks, which indicate a dangerous submerged object. And the fifth are safe water marks, which indicate that the water all round is navigable. Now let us look at these five types of marks. There are two lateral marks, one red, the other green. They can be buoys, piles or lights. The safe side to pass a lateral mark is determined by your direction of travel to or from the sea. Heading upstream or away from the sea is called the direction of voyage. When coming into port, the red marks are always on the port side, that is the left hand side of your vessel. Port lateral marks are always coloured red, and if they have a top, the shape is a can. When coming into port, the green marks are always on the starboard, that is the right hand side. Starboard marks are always coloured green, and if they have a top, the shape is a cone. The reason the tops are a different shape is so you can tell whether you're looking at a port or a starboard mark if poor light makes it impossible to tell the colour. Remember, port marks are red with can tops and starboard marks are green with cone-shaped tops. If lit at night, port marks have red flashing lights and starboard marks have green flashing lights. There are four cardinal marks, north, east, south and west. They are used in conjunction with your compass. Each cardinal mark indicates where the safest water is found so that you can pass by the mark safely. All four cardinal marks comprise two black cones mounted on a black and yellow buoy or pile. North cardinal marks indicate that the safe water is north of the mark. The two black cones point up. The black band is above the yellow band. East cardinal marks indicate that the safe water is east of the mark. The two black cones point outward. There are two black bands, one above and one below the yellow band. As you might expect, the south mark is opposite to the north one. The safe water is south of the mark. The two black cones point down. The yellow band is above the black one. And the west cardinal mark indicates safe water to the west side of the mark. The two cones point inward. There is one black band between two yellow ones. If lit at night, the north marker exhibits a continuous flashing light. Similar to the numbers on a clock face, the east marker flashes in groups of three flashes. The south marker in groups of six flashes, followed by one long flash, and the west in groups of nine flashes. Special marks are always yellow. They indicate special features or areas which will be shown on the chart. These could be a spoil ground, a channel for deep draft boats, a recreational area, underwater pipes, or a mooring area buoy, as in this case. If lit at night, the special mark light will also be yellow. A mark with two separated black spheres above horizontal red and black bands is an isolated danger mark. It is on or moored above an isolated danger, such as a submerged object which is surrounded by navigable water. The mark indicates that you should not pass too closely. If lit at night, isolated danger marks have a white light showing a group of two flashes. Safe water marks can be spherical, pillar or spar-shaped buoys. They are always red and white in vertical stripes. They indicate there is safe navigable water all around the mark. The top mark, if fitted, is a red sphere. If lit at night, a single long flashing white light or an isophase flashing light when the duration of light and darkness are equal or an occulting flashing white light when the duration of light is longer than the darkness is exhibited. Flash. Duration of light shorter than duration of darkness. Occulting. Duration of light longer than duration of darkness.
Isophase. Duration of light and darkness are equal. Quick flash. A flash rate of 60 or 50 per minute. Very quick flash. A flash rate of 120 or 100 per minute. Long flash. A flash of not less than 2 seconds. Group flash. A group of two or more flashes.